Hello everyone and welcome to the US Session Brief. We're on Tuesday the 2nd of May 2023, 2.30 here in Europe. That means we've got an hour until the New York Open. Not a lot of great news coming out of Europe today. It must be said, uh, the decline in German retail sales accelerated. Eurozone headline inflation came in higher. Eurozone manufacturing PMI fell to a 35-month low. All this data comes before the ECB rate decision on Thursday and may weigh on that decision. The US markets though shrugged off the news of a major bank rescue to close almost flat yesterday. S&P &P futures are trading slightly lower uh, after uh, US equities finished slightly lower in a fairly uneventful uh, session yesterday in which stocks failed to sustain some earlier upside. Treasuries are firmer with curve flattening following a big back up in yields on Monday. Uh, the dollar is a little changed on some of the major crosses really. Uh, you can see here the dollar yen is pretty much flat on the day but I'll talk more about the technicals on that one in a second. Um, the Aussie dollar strength is the biggest story in FX today I would say. Uh, strengthening quite significantly against the pound. Uh, pound Aussie down almost 200 points. Uh, Aussie Aussie dollar moving up uh, a fair amount too. That's because uh, we saw the RBA unexpectedly raise cash rates by 25 basis points to 3.85%. The decision came as a big surprise given the very low probability of a rate hike so soon after April's pause. This just goes to show that nothing is ever a given. Australian inflation, particular services, re-accelerated and a rate hike had to be done even after a pause. Asian markets finished mostly higher on Tuesday today, uh, earlier on today I should say, in a cautious trade ahead of the Fed decision on Wednesday. Uh, we've seen a relatively weak yen over the past few days, that's fair to say, and it's pushed Japanese inflation expectations to a four-month high. This is something the government wants to see, but the sustainability of this inflation will be uh, the focus moving forward. European markets slightly softer today following the Asian markets in the week economic data. Like I mentioned, the Eurozone inflation update for April was mixed. We had head headline rate firmer at 7% year-on-year versus consensus 6.9 and price 6.9, but core did ease to 5.6 versus a 5.6 forecast and a prior 5.7% reading. The ECB quarterly bank lending survey also saw na notable tightening in credit standards last month. Credit conditions in Q1 saw sub further substantial tightening and stronger than banks expected in prior survey. In America's uh, Morgan Stanley is to cut 3,000 jobs this quarter. Uh, Treasury Secretary Yellen says the US could run out of cash by June the 1st. Diesel demand has declined and the drop in energy prices are kindling fears of a recession in the US. Then let's have a look at markets because what have we got on the calendar today? We've got the Jolts job openings. I did uh, comment inside this inside the FX chat uh, earlier on today with some thoughts. It is of course a risk to the US dollar given trend in data across uh, across the economy pointing to a higher probability of a, a higher unemployment in the months ahead. Another big push lower could put pressure on this US dollar um, but no, I've got no appetite to really chase the US dollar lower from here unless um, you're on the dollar yen here because this looks like a pretty nice looking area to be looking for a reversal. Why is that? Because we've come into the high from March where we saw quite a significant drop off and also uh, a lot of price interaction towards the back end of last year in December. Um, basically this is a quite a significant horizontal resistance level but it must be said we did find and manage a daily close above the 200 day moving average yesterday which we failed to do in these particular areas. Um, so just consider that um, as we move forward into this trading session if you are trading the dollar yen. I just posted inside the commodities chat that gold is super, super choppy right now. You can see this, this, the, all this here is it's up, down, up, down, up, down. Really messy trading environment. No clean breaks in either direction. Good for mean reversion on the lower time frames in today trading, I could imagine. Uh, S&P, like I mentioned, uh, pretty quiet day all in all yesterday. Some early gains, but failed to break and close above. And again, just in a longer wick to the upside. If I was to just put this on a candlestick, you got the longer wick, wicks. You know, a few, few few quite large wicks that are coming up against this level. Why is that? Because it's a significant level. Uh, had quite a lot of rejection off here in recent times. You can see this area here, here, here again. That's just this year. Um, but we are supported by the downside uh, and ascending trend line. So it's going to be quite interesting. You're coming into the pointy end of this uh, long-term wedge now. Will we break higher or will we break lower? Uh, of course, uh, bulls will be looking to see a strong close above here, get through 4200, then we can push on into the 43 handle. 
that's it from my end. Uh, hope everything is okay on your end. I'll speak to you shortly. Take care and bye for now.